Guys, do you know that deep ocean is so dark that even the world's brightest flashlight won't be effective after a maximum depth of 100 meters? Keep in mind, the world's brightest flashlight is 120,000 lumens bright, which is more than 240 times brighter than our daily used flashlight, which ranges from 250 to 500 lumens. Crazy, right? But still, you will see fish finding their way in this pitch darkness. Sounds fishy. Anyhow, have you ever wondered how fish navigate through the deep sea in pitch darkness? It's not like they have headlamps on their heads that they switch on when they dive deep. Or do they? Or do they have some magical and mysterious powers that get them to the desired destination? You will have answers to all these questions after watching this video. You see, living things in themselves have a superpower. That is the power of adaptability. They can evolve and change their body features according to their environment in order to survive. As Charles Darwin said, what the most important factor in survival is neither intelligence nor strength but adaptability. So what are these adaptations that allow these creatures to navigate through the abyss? We are going to find out. So let's begin. The first and foremost important adaptation is that deep sea fish have huge eyes. This helps them to detect even the slightest change in light. So you might think, why are their light changes is such deep down? The answer to that is that despite the darkness, small bioluminescent organisms produce light, creating a mesmerizing celestial-like spectacle. By observing the patterns and intensity of these lights, fish can not only identify their surroundings but also communicate with each other. But light is not the only tool in their arsenal. Fish also have powerful sense of hearing. In vast expanse of the ocean, sound waves travel much faster and farther than in the air. By detecting the low frequency sound produced by ocean waves, other animals or even earthquakes, fish can orient themselves and navigate their way through the blue depth. Another way these strange creatures detect their way is through electroreception, the ability to sense electrical fields. Fish use this method to find prey, navigate and communicate with each other. Chemotaxis, which is the ability to sense and follow chemicals in water, is yet another astonishing way deep sea fish use to find food, mats, and other members of their species. Some fish even have a sixth sense. The skill lies within a mysterious organ called the lateral line. Running along a fish's body, it is filled with sensitive hair cells that can detect water movement and pressure changes. This allows them to detect even the slightest movements in their environment and navigate their way according to those movements. And if you are wondering, yes, some fish like the angler fish do have headlamps on their heads, but a little different. These are actually bioluminescent lure which they use to attract prey. They are attached to a long slender stalk that the angler fish can extend in front of its mouth. When a prey fish is attracted to the lure, the angler fish snaps its jaws shut, trapping the prey. I don't get it man. How can creatures dispute this so cool? Anyway, that's it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe the channel and like the video.